Welcome back to Mommy School. Today and all of this week and next week, we're gonna be reading um, some fairy tales. And I'm gonna start, we're gonna read some old ones, some classics, and then some not so classics. And I'm gonna start with one of my favorites. It's The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. And the art is done by Michael Manchenko. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. And there she is in her pretty dress and he's all dressed up. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath and carried off Prince Ronald. <gasps> oh no, she's naked. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horse's bones. Ooh, look at that. She looks mad. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have just eaten a whole castle today. I am very busy, dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Man, he didn't close the door in her face that time. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 50 forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Mm, so he ran out of fire. I wonder what she's trying to do. She's being very clever. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Oh, she tired him out. Mm, she's very smart. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Oh, and I see the prince. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Oh man, that doesn't sound very nice. She just went and rescued him and did all that stuff to save him. And he's not being very appreciative of her. Seems like he's taking her for granted. And he just wants her to look pretty. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. So she realized he wasn't all that nice and she'd rather be on her own than married to somebody that doesn't treat her very nicely. That's why I love this story so much. Bye. The end. Thanks for watching everybody.
Okay, so to go along with our paper bag princess, we, we have a paper bag that was blank and we cut a hole in the top for your head and holes in the arms so you can put your arms in. So Milo, you wanna try it on? Okay. So put your arms in. Yep, put them out. Good. Everybody show, show the camera. There is Milo's vest like the paper bag princess. So we use paint and pom poms. You can use markers, you can use crayons. If you don't have a paper bag at home, you can use a trash bag, you can use an old t-shirt to decorate, um, but paint, uh, markers, crayons. Oh, Milo, get all the way. Whatever you have at home to decorate and to make yourself a knight or just like the paper bag princess. All right, you wanna make your own? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. You can do it on this one or you can do it, we can get a new one. Okay. I wanna do a new one. We can't wait to see your creations. Right now, Milo and Julia are coloring and then they said they wanted to do some gluing on. We're gonna glue eyeballs. Hey Milo, watch your grip, bud. We're gonna do eyeballs and glue some other stuff on there. We're making our, we're making our shield. Dude, you're being good grip. Milo, gentle with the markers or they're not gonna last very long. Remember, you have to hold the cap. You're yes. gonna do a dab of glue, and then Juju's gonna glue some stuff on. That's good. All that. Just I need a little bit, because um, the longer. Uh, one eye goes on there. Hey guys, the more glue the you put on. The eye goes on the other side. Yeah, you gotta be careful with glue. The more glue you put on, the longer it's gonna take to dry, and then we won't be able to wear them as fast. So we gotta stick it down. Smush, smush. All right, what else are we gluing on? Oh, I need. Construction paper. Mm, yeah. All right, so we cut little strips of paper just for fun earlier, um, because mommy was using scissors, and we're gonna I use all those strips. Them. No, I guys, don't. you can share. Why don't you do this instead of big globs of glue? We'll do this, Milo. Look, just shove some paper on there. That way, there you go. Yeah, put some paper on there. So we are um, using the scrap papers that they cut earlier today to use for our art. Kind of recycling. Just touch it with your touch the paper with your finger, or your hands are gonna get sticky. This is gonna be like a confetti knight's outfit, isn't it? Rip strips of paper if you need them too. You can rip little pieces of the paper. All the jeans are gonna make a great. I don't got them. Yeah, just rip it and put it on. Perfect, like little pieces of confetti. It's like a party vest, huh? Yes. So work on that pinch, pinch, pull, Milo. Put your hands close together, fingers close together. Tear. Yep, and then tear it down. Tear. Did you put your hands closer together? That's gotta be a great one.